Hey folks, this is Kinky Friedman, the friendly Jewish cowboy, and I'm always watching Groovy TV. Hey, this is Groovy with Hollywood Music, I'm here with Kinky Friedman, here at the Oriental Theater, Denver, Colorado. How's it going, man? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm actually, uh, feeling, I'm, I'm feeling pretty bipolar. Um, on this tour, because it's all adrenaline in the audience. It just you do 27 shows in 26 days, uh, it will have an effect. So we, this is number five. So it's early days. How's it going so far? How are the crowds? I think they're going real good. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of uh, Towns Van Zandt maybe spirit. Uh, a little Woody Guthrie maybe. No, it's a little bit of Judy Garland. <laughs> We always got to put a little Judy Garland in everything, right? Of course. <laughs> you know the P.O. <laughs> no, where are you all going after this on the tour? It's, it's 27 days in a row, isn't it? Uh, Salt Lake is next tomorrow. Is it? Uh, and then uh, on to uh, L.A., Pearl Harbor Day, two shows there. And uh, I don't know, Santa Barbara, Bakersfield, all this, you know, there's a bunch of them. Right. San Francisco. All through California and then uh, Portland and Eugene, Oregon. That's it. Awesome. Now, is this in support of a new album coming out? Or what's the scoop on that? Well, there's a new uh, CD, a live CD, live at Woodstock, uh, of the Bipolar Tour mm -hmm. up there at the East Coast. Okay. That one was very successful. This one, uh, they may be rolling me into a gurney that I did this thing. This is, I am 68 years old. You don't look it. Well, I read the 70 year old. <laughs> what are you going to do for your 70th birthday? Uh, I'm getting slightly suicidal! <laughs> so I might uh, off myself if life was not working out. But right now, I've got seven women on my mind. That complicates everything. It requires a great deal of energy. I would imagine. And, uh, you know, but it's fun. There's a uh, the book with Willie Nelson. That, that's, that's, right. that's very exciting. That's blow me up and smoke me when I die. It's number six of the New York Times bestseller list. How cool is that? God, please, God, keep it up there for a little bit longer. You know? We don't want the damn thing going over a fiscal cliff or something. So. <laughs> number six. I don't think Willie. Oh, I know I have it. I don't think Willie's ever had a book that that's, that's, that's true. That's impressive. Yeah. That's awesome. When did that actually come up? Well, it hit the charts, I think, three weeks ago. Wow. At 26, then 14, then 6. Wow, that's impressive. Plus, on top of all that, you have your own line of tequila. And your own line of cigars as well? Or? Yeah, we do. Uh, uh, Kinky Friedman Cigars, KFC, Honduran Cigars. Mm -hmm. But the uh, tequila, uh, Kinky Friedman's Man of Black Tequila is not your father's tequila, it's your grandfather's gardener's <laughs> We salute Man of Black salutes uh, Zorro, Paladin, and Johnny Cash. Wow. And on top of that, you uh, ran for governor. You're probably going to do it again in Texas, right? Well, it sure is. After you guys here in Colorado have uh, you legalized marijuana, no. or you legalized it. Yeah. That would be a real. See, when Texas does something, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a big deal. Like gambling. We don't have legalized cannabis. I mean, if we did, half of Vegas would lose half of their clients. Pretty sure. Big hit. Um, the marijuana thing, it would have a profound effect on America if Texas absolutely legalized, regulated, and taxed marijuana. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something that I would go talk to Willie about that, about that I would definitely be running on if I ran in the Democratic primary. As an old-fashioned blue dog, Harry Truman, Democrat, and that'd be 2014. Okay, well, and I have to be serious. Right. Democrats like serious. Right. Well, if you run on that, I'm moving to Texas and voting for it. Well, I, I wish you would, because I think we won the last race every place but Texas. That's what happened. <laughs> All right. One last thing. Um, you also have like a animal shelter. Yes. Tell me about that. 
We've got a place called Utopia Animal Rescue Ranch or utopiarescue.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, we take in any stray or abused animals. This is in the, right in the heart of Texas, about an hour from San Antonio. Uh, and you can go to the website, there's a lot of stuff on there, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've, uh, we've taken in past 15 years, thousands and thousands of dogs we've, we've adopted, mostly dogs, mm -hmm. horses, donkeys, pigs, any animal that's, uh, you know, in, in need, we're kind of a court of last resort, we go from the pound or, okay. and um, we have kind of managed to open the gates of heaven a little bit more wide, widely, and it's, it's all an outdoor place, um, so it's uh, like big open air pens with trees and grass. And the, and the animals get walked a lot by volunteers, and they're very happy. So if you adopted a dog from us, you would see him or her uh, look back over his shoulder wistfully as he's leaving with you. I mean, this is not one of those places that brings you down. Right. It's a happy, happy orphanage. And uh, what's happened to me is that my only friends really now are stray dogs and old carriage horses. Which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> it's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> also, oh, uh, one thing about the show, um, I mean, like set list wise and everything, what can everyone expect from uh, from your show on this tour? Well, we'll open with Brian Molnar from New Jersey, who I think is the best singer songwriter I've come across in a long time. Really? And uh, the uh, bad Hungarian. And uh, then, uh, then I'll do a bunch of songs that are older than most people in the audience, uh, but they still seem to uh, work. You know, so I haven't written any new ones in 25 years, so what the hell. Uh, but then we'll do stuff like uh, Get Your Biscuits in the Oven, Your Burns in the Bed, Rapid City, South Dakota, The Wild Man from Borneo, Sold America. They ain't making Jews like Jesus anymore. Uh, the anti-politically correctness uh, anthem. I'll do a reading from the new book, Heroes of a Texas Childhood. Uh, 23 heroes of mine when I was a kid. Okay. And uh, afterwards, of course, we'll have books and CDs available. And I will sign anything but bad legislation. <laughs> Spoken like the next president. Okay, sir. President's no. pretty hard. Governor, I think, is not so hard. I don't think we can be president. Well, you know, George Carlin, the great philosopher, was right when he spoke of the illusion of choice, as if Obama or Romney would uh, really make much difference. Who was president? It's really not that big a deal. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I do respect Romney for his uh, faith in the traditional Mormon marriage doctrine. No, that's not same sex. It's same six. <laughs> Alright, sir, well, uh, unfortunately, there's a survey question we ask everyone coming through town. In your entire touring history, all over the world, what's the worst thing you've ever eaten on the road? Uh, jellyfish in one, I think. Uh, it's really good to do uh, people count, I mean. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> I'm gonna throw someone under the bus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't get many bad meals because as a Texan, all we eat really is Mexican food and barbecue. So right. That's it. Uh, so jellyfish in London? But yeah, I tried that and I had like, some kind of reaction to it. Ooh. It made me look like Lee Van Cleef or a bad actor. You know? And do a show that old people thought I looked at. I would like to uh, just mention to the viewers one little word of wisdom. Uh, yes. Jesus loves you can be very comforting words unless you hear them in a Mexican prison. <laughs> And on that note, thank you very much for your time, sir. Really? Thank you very much. <laughs> this could be Hollywood Music with Kiki Friedman, Oriental Theater, Denver, Colorado. Right.